The world lies shattered beneath recognition and the old order has collapsed. The old empire, the French empire, the British empire is no more. The UK, just a shadow, it doesn't even exist anymore. So it is our duty or sacred duty to retake the home isles and to liberate the home isles from the syndicalist menace. One day will be soon enough where Canada shall receive... Well... Well, if you believe it or not, actually, only 3% are subscribed. My total viewers, only 3%! So go ahead and slam that subscribe button, it takes one second. And no surprise, King George V just died. Well... He can't see the home isles anymore. Watch up. Truly, now we have Edward the Eighth. Well, he is autocratic. Will Canada become an autocracy? We shall see. Perhaps. Perhaps. Well. Well, this uniform is, by the way, from a former Antoine country. It surely gives us the spirit required to win this eternal battle. And just another Afghanistan war, which we will join. Well, we call for the liberation of the home islands. We truly do, but I don't think that our army is in a very good state with 120,000 men. But our navy is bigger than our army. So that says something about Canada. But just all the ships escaped from Britain to us, so... Well, Technically, we could expand our <laughs> navy, because we have 11 naval dockyards. But I don't think we lack the resources. Minus 70 of that, minus 40 for chromium, so I, I think we won't produce any naval equipment for a bit. Yeah. Well, it seems like that Poland declared itself a republic. Hmm. I, I hope they'll try that bond. Well, we could repay America, but <laughs> I don't think that no, we will like our respond. Give us a Canadian. Thank you, Mike. Later. It is the king's prerogative to choose as he wishes, without a doubt. The RCMP special branch. Isn't it a beautiful name for our special service? Well, well, look, look, we can recruit T.E. Lawrence as. An infiltrator. <laughs> All right. Well, we got an interesting choice now. We can go ahead and become eternal autocrats. So an strong monarchy. So we will go ahead and invoke the War Measures Act. Therefore, get rid of democracy. In a nice and helpful manner. This for the unification of Wales, of course, only. We did it. We enacted the War Measures Act. Truly beautiful. Look to all these decisions there. Now, controlling the House of Commons. Yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. Well, the American Civil War just began. Are we hold off any intervention? No, we'll go ahead and move into New England. It's actually requested by them. Requested to control the vital industry of new English people. Well, Canada is inviting us. I mean, Canada. <laughs> Alaska invites us. We shall gladly, gladly accept. That would go well. We have out there absolutely no resources in the territory. It's just a wasteland. Hey, a little bit bigger on the map now. Well, well. Panama didn't accept our terms, so our first war will commence. Onwards! Now, Belgium asking, the asking to join the Entente is a great thing. Now, we have a direct spring here to invade Britain. Truly really beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, over the question of New England, we could go ahead. And liberate New England, 
but they are too way too low. Instead, we will continue to occupy them. Well, we challenged the British Navy, it seems we lost. They ran circles around us, made us, made our experienced captains look like fools until we were forced to retreat. <laughs> How embarrassing, no, but that was worth it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we did officially suspend Parliament. Bold move, but I think one which was worth it. Now we are ruled by a military government. Beautiful. Well, we have a new one of the three. Uh, let's go ahead and accept all American refugees with Project Samaritan. There we go. And one more. And one more. And, uh, I think right now we will be quite busy repairing our factories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Since the Dutch East Indies actually joined the Entente, even if you know, we will event because they turned communist, they joined the Entente. Now we help them defeating the Indonesian rebellion. They surrendered and we won. There we go. My dear royalists, the time, the eternal time, has come. We are ready to invite the British Isles. While the world is at war, we will retake the home Isles. It will, 30, it will take 30 days, then we'll launch a massive invasion to the UOB. And here we go, the Dominion of Canada declared war on the Union of Britain. We shall invade straight away and our fleet will serve as a sporting force. Hopefully we won't lose any troops. Well, the French are joining, that's nothing new. We should organize a commander resistance. Yes, so they are guarding the harbor, they are guarding all ports, actually, the English. Back, well, we shall be able to push them out very, very easily, it's 90 already, they don't stand a single chance. So our tanks, they'll encircle their divisions, we'll keep them attacking, and we have established a beachhead on the British Isles. It is just a question of time now, until we fully crush the, well, British, the syndicalist threat for once and for all. We'll pick our insights, the Jins will go ahead, join the battle. I want full aggressive expansion. So, let's see how long it will take until we recapture the home iron. Should separate my tank brigades here. Well, we have seven. Okay, I, they joined the third direction. Not that we really mind about that. It's vital that we don't lose any. Oh, but let's see. All right. Oh, we just. I'll just push through with my tanks with these lines. Well, the bulk of the Canadian army is already on this. Already on soil. They're, they're moving up. We are still attacking them there. Alright. The war is going splendid, and we got seven more loyalists rising up for the brave cause of reclaiming the home miles. It's actually how much? Nine complete divisions, like a hundred thousand men. <laughs> if that's not amazing, I wouldn't know what to say. Oh, <laughs> They'll fall within two months. That's what, that's what I say. We split the country in two parts already. I wouldn't thought it would be that successful and the Germans are really, well, getting crushed by the French though. That's bad. All right, well. well, isn't this just beautiful how we just encircled the entire British army just right there? <laughs> if you push... Yeah, let's get rid of this bulk there. Oh, that's just amazing, this, what we accomplished. <laughs> the final stand, gents, for the British has truly begun. They just control London and parts of southern England. We captured the all of the north already. So I have, well, prepared a master-minded invasion plan to kick the offensive off. 
with 13 divisions into Portsmouth. The Portsmouth with 13 divisions. So while the invasion is commencing, we will also launch our major attack to pin the British troops on the entire front line. We launch it with a normal manner. This is going pretty well. This yeah, 44, not so damn well. But when we break through into Portsmouth, which we will, or oh, it seems like it will be terrible for the British. Oh, we are taking our holding our breath for this one offensive into Portsmouth. And 99, 100. We did land in Portsmouth with 13 divisions. <laughs> this is the end of the British. Let's spectate. How we are crushing them, there we go. We overrun the lines, the fall of London. And the Union of Britain has capitulated that easy already. This is the beginning of the end. Well, it has fallen to a foreign invader to the, well, Royal British troops. I wouldn't say that they are foreign, would you? Ah, smooth. Very smooth. We also encircled, well, two French divisions in the progress. What shall we do next is the question. We have to invite France. I, I think we have to invite France. We have to take out Ireland as well. How paradox it is that Ireland has has become the the primary base of the British resistance. Well, I, I'm happy the IRA is making their job not easy. <laughs> but you see, they are doomed. We they lost Ireland as well. Yeah, after this, uh, well, we have to invade France, because our oh, ally Austria joined the war as well, which is pretty nice. But the Russians are still being, well, the Poles are pushing very much in the German region, how it seems like. Well, we shall see how the stage develops. Here we go, gents. Our fleet in motion. And effectively... Commencing the in white wait flight all right. The sh our flight should go ahead to enable support for our divisions. While we go ahead and commence the biggest naval invasion the world has seen up to date. We'll invade Cherbourg and Brest with our forces. Cracking the lines may be difficult. It's 93 and 95. Well, there are submarines, but our ships are engaging them already. Just sink the French submarines. Go ahead. Ah, uh, the go, go, go. the spectacle of invading French territory. Will we succeed or not? Takes their time. We shall enact air supremacy in on the French region, which we have. Come on, land. Well, Brest is looking more successful than Cherbourg does. 99. And we did land on French soil. There we go. We did land on French soil. Now, we shall push straight. With our troops. We have cracked the line. What, what, what else could you possibly wish? That? Here you go. The Canadian division just captured Paris. Uh, it says French troops, but it didn't. Well, we captured it. France didn't capture it. Well, why does French even occupy that territory? Well, they are in our faction, so. But, well, the, where, where even is the French army? You may ask yourself at this very point. Where, where are the French? Where are the French troops? Where are the French divisions? <laughs> uh, <laughs> they. We completely overrun them. This will be a swift and easy conquest. Well, the Ottomans just joined us. Well, let them join us. They are welcome to do so. La Rochelle. Soon we'll capture Bordeaux. Isn't this beautiful? Truly beautiful. Oh, I'm shipping safely my troops away from Belgium into France. Well, this was extremely, extremely easy to say the least. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. Well, I mean, the Germans, they would have lost if we wouldn't have forced the French to surrender, so... Yeah, that's about that. Well, the Ottomans are actually fighting the the Russians as well. Hmm. Oh, they... they got some Serbian territory for themselves. Alright, Ottoman. 
We did capture Marseille with five divisions. Well, they just they don't stand a single chance. They don't stand a single chance against us. <laughs> well, truly well, truly, truly well. The fall of Moscow. I don't know why it says that the situation appears dire. It doesn't really. I mean, it doesn't appear dire. The fans, they are doing splendid. Well, I, I could have let the French actually capture Germany. I could have done that, but, but I didn't. I didn't. Don't forget, the Germans are still the enemy of the Entente. They have to be dealt with eventually. There won't be any cooperation between us and between them. Well, our last final offensive to crush the French. To crush the syndicalist beasts. It's just commenced. Just right now, we are pushing straight into Arthas and Lorraine. I really don't like the fact that we are helping Germany by recapturing all of this territory as well. We will. And there we go. The peace treaty has just commenced. They, of course, take lots of territory. The Germans. So let's see if we can get a nice peace deal. I'll be right back. Well, to be honest, the PC was pretty, pretty damn nice. Alright, we got a very disgusting border in France, but we got control of all of Italy and all of France, and we have a, not a bad front line to push against the Germans right now, because it's so overstretched. That is pretty great. We shall first take out the Dutch, and after that push against the Germans. I am sure that the old order with the Entente reigning the world has to be restored. They will be busy fighting the Russians, so we have some time for that, I think. You see, our surprise invasion was quite successful against the Dutch. I think they will surrender at any given second. And there we go, well, that was more than easy. Not even one, one week. In one week. Well, the big question now is we got all of this new land, Bulgaria, Chile, Central America, France, Piemont, Netherlands. Should we <laughs> annex it into the Canadian realm, or should we give it back to our allies? Well, I could keep the land and give it to the UK, so that is always a thing worth considering, actually. Yeah. Uh, really, I don't know what what we want to do. <laughs> uh, I mean, all of that land would be so tempting to keep, and then to give it to the British afterwards. Let me know in the comments. From capitulating all these country, countries, we have mm, thousands of equipment right now. I think the Germans won't be a threat for us. We have plus 180,000 equipment. They won't be a threat here. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are as Canada. Active poised to strike the Reichspakt. But at that point, I want to lock it up to you, so you shall decide if I shall make another episode where we will wage a war against the Reichspakt and we will try to make all of Europe under, well, Entente rule. This is how it looks like now, so we got quite some work ahead of us, but that is up to you. If you want to see me attacking the Germans and, well, restoring the, well, even expanding the old order of the Entente. Well, that's completely up to you, so leave a like and subscribe. Only 2% of, of my viewers are subscribed, that's terrible. I don't know why they are so too lazy to click that button, so if you haven't already, if you're at that point, then please go ahead. And don't forget, it's up to you, you shall decide if you'll attack, do another episode or not. Goodbye, have a nice day. Peace.